Alright, let's play a little more, uh, New Leaf. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying this, uh, playthrough so far. What is going on at my mailbox right now? Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, I gained 230 in bells from interest. Birthday on the 7th of the 9th. Tucker. Um, I need to ditch some letters. I mean, I, I think we're, ki we're kind of approaching the point where, like, I played enough of this to see what this was about. I mean, I wanted to kind of decorate the island and stuff. Well, the island, the town. In the sense of just, uh, chopping down trees and planting flowers. But the problem is the axe just... They're not selling me the axe. I got 10,000 points for my house. Ten thousand points. They really, they really like uh, what I have going on upstairs with the corn and meat. If there was one thing I could change about this, it would be to have access to the axe sooner. But I think the reason they don't do it is just because it's probably what the late game of this game is. Is just you don't really get a whole lot in terms of. Um, making the outside look nice, so I'm guessing that's the end result, is like, okay, you get an axe, you can chop down trees, you can lay out stuff as you like. Hmm. Whereas in the New Horizons, it's, uh, the terraforming, I guess, like, you can make rivers and hills and all that stuff, so. Um... I looked into it and, like, the upgrades that I have left, they take another 30 days. And they don't really offer much. The only upgrade I have left to do that I want to see at least is the coffee house. So, I think once the coffee house is done, we can put this to rest, you know? Because people do want me to play New Horizons and can't really do that if I'm still playing this one. As much as people also enjoy this one. I think if given the choice, I would probably pick New Horizons every time. But, yeah, this has left me wanting Nintendo to... Whatever they do next, they, they have to make it more like New Leaf in terms of activities. The activities in this one are so good. I will miss them. I just finished Yoshi's Crafted World. I'm saying this so then contextually it makes sense. <laughs> but I'm kind of glad to be playing this right now because it's relaxing and I had to have laser focus on my platforming skills for like two hours straight basically. So it is nice to not have to do that right now. Today's money, I should be able to pay off the home. I guess that's the other thing. Is like, there's another house upgrade, but I'm pretty positive it's, it's kind of the same. It's just another tiny room. Which, yeah, I think I'm good. Again, the the reason I wanted to play this was more to just see what people were talking about. 
I remember people saying they were a little disappointed in New Horizons when it first came out, and I can see why. It's like, they... They gave some new things that were great, but then also took away a bunch of activities. And items, which... Yeah, like, I don't understand why they didn't have all the fruit from this game. That one is a bit puzzling. Like, I would love to have bananas, mangoes, and all that stuff in New Horizons. again. <laughs> I've been rotating my clothing every day, so. As much as I like this, um, Korok sports person slash, um, nightclub promoter look. I think it's time to change. Lucky's still hanging around. Why are you still around, Lucky? You don't live here anymore. Oh, I'm going I'm about to go all formal. Um, blue or grey? Is this a flight? Oh, there's a bow. Yeah, I was gonna say, is this a flight attendant shirt? It is. Well, what is what is this one? Beige Emblem Blazer. Okay. Yeah. Why is the flight attendant outfit so expensive compared to the blazer? Let me, let me see what's next door first, and then I'll decide. Oh, thank you for the follow, Sleepy Dernity. Oh, it's like a Mario hat. Nothing that really goes together. HMD? Wait a minute. What does that name sound familiar? Alright. I don't really have anything that's gonna go with it. I guess I'll just go with this. Good fortune clothes. Um, what are these? Scale armor pants. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll just say... Only it's like I'm a cyborg. Or is it Android? No, cyborg is the right term. Android is like completely robotic. Cyborg is part human and robot, if I'm not mistaken. The way I remember this was because in in Dragon Ball they called one of the villains androids and um it was technically incorrect, because they were originally humans, so... Cleats? What about these boots? And, well, all the androids, it was like... There's, what, seven or eight of them, if you count the movies?
<laughs> sure, why not? This is today's look. long time since you've watched DBZ. That's fair. Look, I was super into that show. I remember a lot of it. But also, when was it? Like, they had the, the game that released recently that was pretty good. I say recently, but it was probably four or five years ago now. <laughs> Those COVID years, like, really messed up my sense of time. You stopped that boo. That's probably a fair choice. It was originally supposed to stop at Cell, but then because of its popularity, they kind of forced it to keep going. I mean, the boo saga's alright, it's just... It was never intended to go as far as that. And there's some things that, about it that are annoying. As long as you did it, as long as you avoided GT. Unfortunately, I watched GT. <laughs> Oh my god, the theme- the theme song to- to GT. It's like this... It was, was, was like... Rock and hip-hop. That was the best way to describe the theme to it. Oh man. It's just... How can we get it to appeal to the kids? Let's combine someone rapping with someone on a guitar. Watching that show as a kid was 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 very difficult. Is it still going? Um, they had a long break and then they came out with a new series called Super that kind of it takes place in the gap after Boo but before GT. So they have a manga going for that and they did some of it for the anime, but they haven't really continued. I mean, it's all right. It's, it's like. There are some things that are good, and there are things that aren't. I watched it, I like, guess, you know, there was definitely some fan service in there, but... There were some arcs in it that I was like, oh, this is, this is not a good arc. They did a movie recently that was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been like... I don't know when it stopped. It's definitely been, it's definitely been five years. So behind on that show. Eh, I mean... They have a better way to watch it now. It's not the same as um, it was when you probably watched it the first time. They have a, uh, a version of the the whole show called Kai, which is just instead of it dragging on forever, they just cut out like most of the filler and repetitive stuff. So it's a lot shorter of a series if you watch that version of it. Unlike the original version where like fucking Goku powers up for four episodes. Like, it's, it's not that anymore. I don't think I could rewatch the original run of that, like... At the time, as a kid, it was great, but I, I just don't think I could stand it. <laughs> There's so much for that. Yeah, because... It was being animated at the same time it was being written, so they had to... Do that. But, yeah, they re they did it for an anniversary, they did, like, Kai. So... 
To give you, a, like, an idea of the pacing, in episode 3, Goku, um, has already faced his brother, and it, you're done- we're done with it, basically. In three episodes, so that's how much better it is. Yeah. Ooh, I don't have you. Don't move. I mean, it's worth a watch because they have new scenes and the pacing is a lot better. It tells a better story. Oh no. Come back, please. Please. Why'd it have to be on the river? It keeps moving away. Okay, got it. Oh. Wait, already. I feel like I haven't donated the, that to the museum, but I might be wrong. This was probably the thing I had to catch for the vouchers. So, nice. I guess I should go to see what, um... What they have. Uh, but I was gonna say, like, it, it... That was the one thing that sucked about watching... Dragon Ball as a kid, was just... One, the filler, but also in Australia. Um... It was out on a... On a morning kids show. Like, on weekdays. And so... They would... First of all, like, they started... They didn't start from the beginning the first time they aired it. I think they started from when the Saiyan Saga happened. They didn't do, like, the whole brother thing. Then... When that was over... They went on break, and when they came back, they started again. And then this time... They got all the way up to space. And then they took a break and then started again. Then they got up to Namek, then they took a break and started again. Then they got up to the androids. And did south, then took a break. Started again. And then did boo and that was the end of it. Oh man. The path to Snake Road took forever, yeah. Well, that's not the case in the new one. New month, new things to catch. Yeah, you're right. What is this? Operating table. <laughs> For five coupons. What is the point of, uh, like, an indoor la- This would be nice outside, but you can't place anything outside. Okay. I think the worst offender of filler was was Namek, hundred percent. There was just multiple episodes where it was the same thing. A character would be powering up, then they would cross to another another thing going on. They'd do a bunch of talking talk about what was going on, Cro cross back to the character still powering up, then cross over to Bulma, who has an her own adventure for three episodes, then they cross back to the characters somewhere else on the planet, cross back to the person powering up, back to Bulma, back to the characters, Bulma, characters, Bulma, characters, finish powering up, characters, Bulma, fight starts, characters talk about how they feel the fight is starting, Bulma's on another adventure, go back to the fight, <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. I, I might be exaggerating, but it's not so far from the truth. It was- it was that. As a kid, you don't notice it, but... I remember I went back to watch it as a teenager once, and I was like, Oh my god, I can't stand this. <laughs> no. I- I couldn't. I- I just couldn't. But then, thankfully, they came up with Kai. Kai- Kai is- is fine.
I feel like they only took Bulma to Namek just as like, haha. If we need, if we need to waste three episodes, there she is. I remember they had two whole episodes, I think, where she was fighting crabs under the water. The whole time. We're just left wondering, where is the other fight? Show me the other... I don't care about the crabs. What is happening in the fight? Yeah, so there's going to be a bunch of new bugs to catch. I guess I should take my time. It's one of those things that the show will always have a place in my nostalgia. Yeah. You know? Lots of fond childhood memories talking about that show. But I, I just, I can't watch it. And you know, it's part of the reason that I probably slept on One Piece for the longest amount of time, because I was like, okay, One Piece has hundreds of episodes, they probably do the same as what Dragon Ball did. They don't. They really don't. There's filler for sure, but nowhere to the extent of what, like, Dragon Ball does. to the point as well that when it comes to Dragon Ball Z I associate more with the abridged series that was on YouTube more than the original run oh man if you haven't seen the abridged series on um, on YouTube that shit's great but of course only watch it if you've seen like Dragon Ball the original run I should put this clothing away. Oh, someone lost a journal. Alright, we'll look for the owner in a bit. I'm surprised there's nothing in town today. Like, there's... Maybe Gulliver's around, but... Doesn't look like anything's happening today. is not going to matter at this point. <laughs> Do I have any more chairs? Yeah. Get another place to sit, even though it's kind of... Hang on. Uh, grab one. So I can go here at the joke of the day. <laughs> I know. But this is the only way I'm gonna have multiple chairs here.
Okay, uh, I guess let's try and find who lost this item. Vesta! Oh my, is it really you, Cupcake? Long time no see. Were well, you doing something fun? I just haven't had it for a while. If you read any interesting books, you'll have to share the titles with me. Did you lose this? Sorry, this isn't mine, but I'm sure the I'm sure you'll find the owner if you keep asking around. All right. A sticky wicket. Oh my god. Wasn't there someone around? Oh, there you are. Hey! hey. <laughs> you decided to end the silent treatment. I haven't been doing that, I just, I've been busy. Well, what was I supposed to think? We haven't talked in forever, you should pay more attention to me. Uh, okay. Can I help you? Did you drop this? It's not yours, okay. Man, why does every villager guilt trip me? I guess I have to start checking the houses. And the coffee. It's been <laughs> been a bit since I last chat. We should get together more often. Did you drop something? It's not yours. Okay. It looks kind of damaged. Oh, there was someone hanging out outside the shop. I should check over there first. Plus, I can sell. Did you drop this? Ah, uh, what a coincidence running into into you today, bro. So what's up? Did you lose this? Nope, that's not mine. Alright. While we're here. Oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? I brought you a snack. What did you bring me? Cherry. What do we have here? A cherry, don't mind if I do. Phew, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now. Shouldn't I? Hmm. Then how about I tell you a really good joke today? Alright, I have to get ready for this, so you just wait right here a sec.
Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My flourish joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. Well, you see, I used to be a great reaction comedian a while back. So, of course, I had a powerful gag to use when I really hit a home run. I'm going to give you an extra special treat and let you see it today. Watch carefully. Are you ready? Here I go. That was spin-tristing. What do you think? Want to see it again? That was spin-tristing. Well, pretty easy, right? I wonder why it never caught on. It just makes me laugh because I just thinks I just think of Fuzzy Bear. It's, a, it's an axolotl. So yeah, what do you think? I think this is the first time you've seen my flourish joke. And you can add one more joke to your joke book. Use that joke book of yours to bust out your flourish ability and develop your comedic skills. <laughs> Hang on. Come over here. Away from where the clock can be. Why is he trying to walk away? Hang on, let me push you over here, sir. Alright, now we do it. Come on, do it again. I just want an easy thumbnail later, honestly. He's gonna do it. Alright, that'll do. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to grab something from that. be it, right? Okay, hold on. I want to see if there's any silver stuff on sale. Nah, it's just a shovel. I won't wake her. Bug catching doesn't give you enough. I'll focus on getting the money for today. I need to pay off that loan. I should get the swimsuit out, because there's probably new critters to get in the ocean. I'll try not to focus too much on fishing. 
I default to every time. my swimsuit. You know one thing I'm not going to miss? This. G'day, I found... Bro, yes. I'm trying my best to catch an ocean sunfish, but I've been total failure. Uh, I'll try. Is this? Please say it. yes. No. Nope. Damn it. Who could it be? Finally got a chance to talk, Well, I don't know if you're ignoring me or you're just busy, but I have feelings too. Oh my god. You see this? This is this is why I like the monkey. Monkey gives me no. Yes, it's the comic book I lost. I'm so glad you found it. Electric Razor Man, issue seven. A total collector's item. It's good to have it back. A collector's item, huh? Thanks for returning my stuff to me. Here, yeah, have a bubble tank for your trouble. A bubble tank? What? Oh, it's clothing. <laughs> I'm good. I'll I'll stick to this. This is how bad English is. Bubble tank can mean a bubble t-shirt. It can mean the tank as in, you know, the vehicle. And it can also mean the tank as in a fish tank. A container to put bubbles in. Just such a wonderful language. If it was Spanish, it would be different. Yeah, it would be phrased in a way that you would knew you you knew you were talking about clothing. Fuck. Judging distance on this tiny screen when it comes to catching bugs is... is difficult. Every language has its own confusing things. It's not to say that other languages aren't immune from it, but English... When it comes to learning it, after you've learned another language first, it has more strict rules. It sucks. Because you just get told that you're wrong constantly, despite you doing your best and following logic. Yeah. 
Cinnamon bonds are not currency, not yet anyway. Nah, mom, just give me five more minutes. Eh, cinnamon buns are not currency, not yet anyway. Eh, don't do that, my beak isn't a can opener. Ah, nope, I'm still sleeping. No, today isn't a school day. Yeah, I checked. Oh, no, that's the port side. Starbit is on the right. It's because all starfish are right-handed. Good morning, and how is this fine day treating you? I'm Gulliver, a pure-blooded boy of the sea. No, man! Yes, I'm a man of the sea. No, nope, not a boy anymore. Would you listen to my manly tale? I fell overboard in a pirate scuffle and was dumped into the ocean. Had to be ten. No, fifty pirates. Next thing I knew, I was on this beach, snuffing salt water from my manly beak. Can, can you believe it? Boy, that was a close one. You were supposed to laugh! I put together a self-deprecating pun and a joke and a height of comedy. Please don't make me explain my jokes. Ah, seems my ability to make people laugh is lost to the cruel mistress of the sea. Hey. That's not the only thing I've lost. I can't seem to remember a bunch of stuff. It's like amnesia. I think I had that once, maybe? So, just where was I headed? Oh man, this is sure a fuzzy pickle. I'm in way over my head here. Oh, I know. You gotta help me. I'll tell you everything I remember, so will you please... Please help me figure out where I was headed? You wouldn't abandon a poor yet manly seagull like me, would you? Sure. Ah, oh, thanks. I haven't met someone so willing to help a total stranger since the residents of Rico Harbor. Alright, I'll tell you everything I remember about my destination before my mind goes blank. It's a resort. It's a tropical island. It's, well, if I could just remember, I wouldn't need your help right now. It's America. On the beach, next to the clear blue sea, people gyrate their hips to dance the hula while in a grass skirt. It's America. I want to stand on the beach and hula in a grass skirt too. America. The greeting on the island is aloha. It's a very happy and energetic greeting. It's actually America this time. I'm memeing, but it is actually America. <laughs> For once, it's actually America. That's right. I was headed to Hawaii. Now I'll be able to enjoy the relaxed life of the islanders. It's time for an island vacation. And it's all thanks to you. You have my gratitude. I promise I'll send you a fancy souvenir. It might take a while, but you better get your hopes up. All right. I kind of like Gulliver more in this one because you just answer some questions and you learn something, as opposed to just going to dig up parts of a receiver. I don't know. I kind of enjoy this version of Gulliver a little more. Okay, oh, it's, an, it's an anemone. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it's harder to get these things in this game. They just seem to barricade you constantly.
<laughs> That's another thing I'm not gonna miss either. Is anyone up for shout out? What did you just say? Shout out. It's shout out. <laughs> say it again. Shout out. <laughs> There's a lot of people that just aren't gonna get that reference. It's okay. I'm old. I scared, I scared the fish. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. I wanted the big one. Good! I love being charged a disposal fee for protecting the environment of my town. It gives me incentive to do it in real life. If this is representative of real life. Not exactly. <laughs> so what- I think this is the most jarring thing- aside from not auto-stacking, the most jarring thing about this game between New Horizons and this. What lesson does that teach kids? Hey kids! You wanna protect the environment, right? Wrong. It'll cost ya. Just leave the trash in the ocean. weird how they get a little more angry in this game. But I still want some of the stuff that's in this in New Horizons. So. I thought that was more trash. Jeez. <laughs> I got scared for a sec because it was a ring and I don't know. I haven't really played much of the older Animal Crossing games, but I can I can imagine if I tried if I tried to, there would be uh, a lot of jarring stuff. What? Oh, it's the shadow of the present. It's not. It's not a. <laughs> that was baited. I'm not going to miss that. Oh, I can't check my inventory. All right. Wait. 
Wait, so in the old games, you, if you reset it, you have to type out a phrase. I'm gonna talk over an hour just to type it exactly like how I said it. Ugh. I mean, it's, it's one thing to, like, make sure people don't accidentally do something destructive, but it's a whole other thing where it's to the point where it's annoying. Like, it's a fine balance. You don't want it to be too easy to do something that ruins everything, but at the same time, you don't want it to be a chore either. I don't know. Nintendo make great games, but I, I feel like when it comes to... Every single Nintendo game has something like that, where it's just tedious to do something. Or maybe the UI isn't great, it's... And it's not because it's like some groundbreaking thing. Well, you have games in the 90s that have that stuff. That's why you're sticking with New Leaf because you feel like New Horizon is just the same thing. That's fair. I mean, I hadn't played New Leaf, so I wanted to try it, so that's why. So I'd always heard people said they enjoy the activities more in this one, and I can see why. But I think what New Horizons has over this one is just the fact that you can kind of customize the island as much as you want. And the customization side is just way more in depth. Which is the sort of thing I like more. But the activities are a lot better in this one. So it's whatever they do next, I, I want it to be a mix of the two. Like, have everything this game has in terms of what you do, but then have the customization systems that New Horizon has. From, like, the clothing, the building aspects, the interior decorating, the island decorating, just all that stuff. But then the rest is what we have here. <laughs> you wish the club was in New Horizons. I know, I really like the club. It's better than just KK Slider kind of just pulling up a chair in the middle of the town randomly. Feels very anticlimactic by comparison. I also like the cafe being a separate building. Yeah. There's a lot- there's a lot to like about this one. The things that I don't like is stuff like things not auto-stacking. Um, less storage space. Not being able to place items outside, so. But I get it, this game is- is older. I also miss Blathers telling you facts about stuff. That was a nice addition. You just don't get how Blathers can take stuff from your inventory, like is he reaching down your pants or something like that. Uh, I mean... At least it's not like what they do sometimes in Pokemon where they just fade the, the screen to black. Or just do a fade transition and not bother to do anything at all. It's like, yeah, it's not realistic, but there are other games that do far worse things when it comes to handing over items. I think I'd rather have nothing happen, because when nothing happens, it's just like, okay, it feels like an old game. But when they do, like, a, a fade transition, I feel like 
it's almost like a placeholder. Like, they're like, okay, we'll put a fade transition here, and then if we can animate it, we'll animate it. I don't know. This is, this is a, D, a 3DS game, so it's like, it's a little more excusable because it's not as powerful. But the Switch, there is absolutely no excuse why you can't, like, you know, do a handing over animation, for example. New Horizons does it, Pokemon does not. Pokemon, biggest franchise in the world. Makes billions. I've only focused more on the Pokemon graphics because that excuse they gave where they're not including the full Pokedex because they want to focus on animations and visuals. Oh man, that was, that was a good one. If they hadn't said that, I, I probably wouldn't focus on that stuff at all. But now every time I see something look not great in Pokemon or lazy, I just think, all right. We lost the Pokedex for this, huh? This is this is the uh, this is the quality that they're talking about that they're spending extra time on. It ne it it never used to bother me or I never used to focus on it until that happened. I need to get rid of this tire. <laughs> I was hoping that the only silver lining to getting charged with disposal fee is like maybe somewhere down the line they go, oh, thank you, thank you for, uh, for cleaning up our town so much. As a reward, here you go. We'll, we'll give you this gift. Who's my favorite villager? I'm not sure she's in this one, but Alice, I like Alice a lot. Just how she looks visually. Plus, I'm from Australia. So, you know, koala. And her house looks pretty nice, I think. Close second to Scoot. She goes, oh, I can't buy this from you. Instead of you just going to throw this away, I need to take it and you need to give me 80 bells. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm kind of baffled by this one. Like I said, it would make sense if, like, at some point, you know, the town thanks you and is, like, super happy that you've been cleaning up the town and then you get something for it. It's like, oh, actually me, you know, doing this was a good thing. Now I get it. But it's not, it's just like, okay. If you find, if you find garbage, just put it back, man. You're gonna get charged for it. I just wanted to build up. I think I'm good. I just had shells. I probably should have sold them at, at retail. Mm. 
Yeah, it's basically, a, it's a tax. <laughs> Every time you get one, it's like, oh, I just lost 80 bells, okay. I got three pieces of trash within two minutes once, it was annoying. Okay, fish, have the fish. I would read the text if it wasn't the same every time. It's okay. Why does he- why does he say that constantly? Our store does not provide a line of credit. He says that every time like as if, oh, this person has no money. I'd better let them know that we don't do credit. Dude, I'm the mayor. Please. I have a fountain in front of my house. I can afford things. Town theme is Stacy's mom. <laughs> I, l I like going to random towns and just going. Wait, is that? <laughs> just oh dear. I mean, someone has to recreate those songs. I'm kind of amazed how well they can do it, given it's only a few notes and. Fairly limited, but I guess the job done. I think my one in New Horizons was like one of the themes from Castlevania, so people recognized it. But I like this one. It's Funky Town. When the villagers whistle Funky Town, it makes me happy. You like Funky Town? Yeah. It's a catchy song, albeit old. Like well before any of our times. I laughed the other day, someone recognized the theme and they're like, Oh, it's the song from Shrek! And I'm like, yes, the song from Shrek. And nowhere else. Makes you feel all does this. It's just like, yeah. But to be fair, the song is is way older than us, so it's it's not like. I mean, the only reason I know it was because of my uncles and stuff. So. from block parties they played it a lot as when you were a kid yeah that was another thing parties definitely had that song 
There was also that song, Red Red Wine, that was like a very common one at parties as well. Do they do block parties there? Uh, I mean, there were a couple growing up. I wouldn't say they're like a, a norm, but... I grew up in a multicultural neighborhood, and yeah. Sometimes it was like someone throwing an event, and then they're like, yeah, come over, just... Yeah. When I was younger... We were very good friends with um, the neighbors next door. They were Turkish, and anytime, anytime they had a party going on, they would do a barbecue, and I would smell it, and I'd be out in the garden playing. And then, you know, one of one of the girls, she'd call me over to the fence, and then she'd lift me over the fence, and <laughs> I'd be at this party just eating. They were really nice people. My family would end up there eventually, but yeah. It started with me getting lifted over the fence. Typically. Oh, come, come and come and pick up your son. He's he's just here eating chicken, yeah. You may as well stay now. Yeah, it, it's you know, you might be joking, but that's what I would do every time, just gravitate to the chicken. At, at my parents' house, there's like, on the wall, there are four, there are four photos. And, it's one of each of the kids. Can you guess what I'm doing in my picture? <laughs> it's not hard to guess. Got a chicken leg? Yep. Basically, the photos they have hanging up is like me with colored pencils, me with a chicken leg, and me with like this gigantic bunch of grapes. I don't understand how I had such a gigantic bunch of grapes. Like, they're a third of the size of, uh, my body, practically. Just this gi gigantic bunch of grapes. Apparently what had happened in that photo is, um, my grandma had gone shopping. She came home, she put down the groceries on the table, and then went to the kitchen to talk with my aunt, and in that time, I climbed up on the table, opened the bag, took the grapes, and then just sat on a chair and just started eating them. So they took a photo, because they found it hilarious, and yeah, that's... That's me, just as a kid always looking for food. And that's the thing, like, I wasn't even, like, a, a f obese child, either. Like, I was pretty damn skinny. I just constantly got told off by my aunts, they were like, Hey, you don't eat enough. I'm like, I do. It's just... Metabolism, man. Lucky you were chubby. <laughs> I mean, it's when you're younger, it's very easy to be like that. Like, my brother was chubby by comparison, but now he is a lot skinnier than me. I don't know. 
When you're that skinny and people are telling you to constantly eat, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> And keep they keep trying to feed you and you're like no I'm, I'm so full I swear I've eaten please leave me be Two more. I'll go ocean after this and see what new fish are there. That was like your sister, she was a stick. Ah. It's a bit weird how that can happen, like siblings being that different. I can get one more. Why not? I got snacks. Ooh. You got taller and thinned out. <laughs> That's typically what happens. You get taller. Just that? Okay, sure. I've set myself a reminder tomorrow to like try that damn coffee, so so I don't forget. Because I I've said this before, if I'm going to like a shopping mall, I wanna go in and I wanna go out as quick as possible. So if I'm in that mindset, I'm going to forget. You're excited. I mean, temper your expectations. If it was anything other than coffee. <laughs> uh, going a latte or a frap. I have no idea. I feel like a latte, there's more room for error. Like a frap, it's pretty hard to mess up a frap. At least with the frap, there's more wiggle room. With a latte, they could maybe make it in a way that I don't like it, and it might taint the whole experience, you know? Like, you really have to mess up to mess up a frap, you know? Repay loan. Close. Almost there. One, one more trip should do it. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm done. Do you know why? Because I did this for interest, and I'm probably not going to play this long, uh, beyond, you know, the next month. So. Here we go. I've paid it. Well, again, it's like, it's the American version of Full. It's by no means the Australian version, but I'll try it. Okay. 
Okay, that's done. Um, let's quickly pop in here. Yeah, like, the, the thing is, it could be something where I thought about this. They might make it differently to what they make it over there. So that it appeals more with the people here. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll take a picture of it. Okay. Oh. This is... So, you get a choice of adding a new room or more storage. Ah, uh, ooh. Oh, man. Okay. I see what they're doing here. So if you want to make the room bigger, you have to pay for it as well. As opposed to New Horizons where it's kind of just there at a certain point. I can't remember. Add something new. Secret storeroom. What's so secret about these secret storerooms? Yeah, great question. Many collectors prefer not to display every little piece of their collection. A secret space where one can keep a back catalogue allows fastidious collector of... Okay, that's not bad. Sure. This is, this is the new thing, so I want to see the new thing. I'm not so interested in going the distance with this. So at least that'll be up tomorrow. Um, and then the loan is <laughs> probably not going to get paid, as I'm going to focus on the coffee place now. What am I gonna do on Sunday? We've decided to just have lunch with my parents, that's it. Kinda left things too last minute, so it's pretty hard to get a booking anywhere. Barbecue, most likely. Most likely. See what new ocean fish are available. If this is a sunfish, I've caught the quest fish. Yes. Okay, cool. It is so amazing how much of a difference it makes to just be directly plugged into the to the DS headset wise. The capture card is good. It's just the audio is just slightly delayed enough that I mess up the fishing. Here you go flip. Wow, you caught one. Well, I'm certainly happy to take it off your hands. It's an expensive fish. This kind of situation calls for some give and take. When you get, you gotta give back. <laughs> A hamster cage. 
Did I just get a pet hamster? Okay, hold on. Well, it depends. It's either a hamster cage without a hamster or a hamster cage with a hamster. Let's see. One is like, wow, you got me a hamster. And the other one is like, why the fuck did you give me a cage? I don't own a hamster. Did I have a hamster as a kid? No, because they don't exist in Australia. Oh no, yeah, there's a hamster, look. Yeah, it's running. No way. Yeah, they don't exist in Australia. Australia has very strict quarantine laws, so they did not allow them into the country. Because the animals that the British brought over um, did a number on the environment, so they were, they were like, nope, that's it, like, no more. There's no rabies in Australia as a result, like, because of how strict we are when it comes to bringing things into the country. Wouldn't it be lovely if we had something here that made us the envy of other towns? You know, like, like, well, a lighthouse. You're the mayor, so I'm sure you can make it happen, right? Of course you can, Will. Yeah, not, not in this lifetime. But we're getting a coffee house soon, so. I mean, I think the, the closest thing we have, they're called guinea pigs, they're similar. But not quite the same thing. They are big, really? Guess hamsters must be tiny then. Well, anyway. like the size of your palm. Oh, guinea pigs are like that size as well. They can get bigger, but you can get ones that are like that size as well. Really? A shark? Cool, cool. I totally wanted the sea bass over the shark. That's, that's great. you've seen a huge hmm okay yeah I don't know a friend of mine had had one and yeah it, like we're kids it fit in the palm of our hand There's many other fish to catch right now. Well, tomorrow I want to make an effort to get further in Tunic, now that Yoshi is finally done. I was going to do it tonight, but I feel like playing two games that require extreme focus. Yeah, I think I'm good. 
Rip Yoshi, why? Got my time. I 100% of the game. It's alright. All things must come to an end. I'm sure there are other games that'll be just as good or fun to watch. Gonna miss the song? I'm not. <laughs> I will say though, I got more out of that game than I thought I would. I thought that game was going to be very short. And I certainly wasn't expecting post-game stuff that was going to be difficult. But then again, Yoshi's Island had post-game stuff as well that was tricky, so... I mean, there were tricky stages, so I, when I saw those, I was like, okay, yeah. I remember these. They were in Yoshi's Island. There was one per world. But then the, uh, the harder finale, yeah. And the boss challenges. It's a nice touch. Am I going to play Wonder when it comes out? Hell yes. It's like a day one. I don't know if you've seen the, uh... It's funny, last night after I finished streaming, I got into bed, I turned on the TV, and then I saw shit the direct. <laughs> so I went back and, uh, streamed the direct, so we watched it a little. That's funny. But the sounds that Yoshi makes in the new game, I'm such a fan of it. Finally, uh, he's no longer making that horrible sound when he flutters. Like that. That sound. It's it sounds better. Now Yoshi is a cute character all around. And the design is like 1990s chubby Yoshi, which I'm a fan of. Like does he still bring heart? I'm not sure. I haven't seen- I haven't heard it, but... The sounds he's making there, they're a lot better. He probably will, but, um... They've re-recorded all the lines, because... This is now the first Mario game without Charles Martinet voicing, so... I guess they took the opportunity to give everyone a refresh. I think he'll still have the bring high, it'll just sound different. It's the same sounds, they've just re-recorded them, and they sound a lot better. What's up? Guess what, when I was snacking on fish tempura, I thought of a new nickname for you. It's really, really cool. Do you want to hear it? Alright. Alright on, here's your brand new nickname, Cookie. Are you cool with me calling you Cookie? Sure. That's all, from this point on, you'll be known as Cookie. No. <laughs> hey, Cookie. Yeah, no. Would not go by that in real life. I just... I don't have an affinity to Cookie. I don't eat cookies.
Cookie Shambles just sounds like... I fucked up a baking project, you know? Like, I was making cookies and then they... they, uh... did not go well. Yeah, I'm not big into pet names, you call your husband dude, that's fair enough. I can understand that. I am of the opinion where it's fine, it's just when it gets to the point where... <sighs> there's nothing wrong with PDAs. Like, public dis displays of affection. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. However, there are people that do it just... Maybe, I don't know. Not to rub it in your face, but it just, it feels over the top. And that's where the pet names can bother me. But when it's just like, you know, normal, not over the top, it's fine. That's just me. I don't know why I keep trying to fish at the river. Ugh, I just... I don't enjoy it as much. What's a pet name I was given that I didn't like? I haven't been in a relationship where I've had that. So it can't relate. Hate sweetie. <laughs> That's fair. Oh good, I just lost some money. I think sweetie kind of has like a almost boomer connotation to it because sweetheart is very close to it. And that, that's definitely like a, a boomer thing. Might as well. Sweetie reminds you of talking to a dog. What? Who do you know that calls their dog Sweetie? Or do you feel like it sounds condescending?
or patronizing, maybe. I don't know. It's just been chilling on the beach the whole time. I mean, I tried to think of, like, a name that I've gotten, but I just, it just doesn't happen. Like, just, mine, it's either just Will, Dude, Bro, that's it. <laughs> it's... Just hey, <laughs> with no name. Oh, like when people get very mushy with their dog. <laughs> okay, I get it. Reminds me of this episode of Seinfeld, where they went overboard with the public displays of affection and they were calling each other Schmoopy. Oh man. I don't, use, I don't use the word cringe a lot, I just don't like using it anymore. Because I feel like it's over, overused, but I quite legitimately cringed watching that episode. Just... Ugh. just came enjoy I mean again it, it, like I think it's fine in it's like to me it's it's a small dose thing you know but it's when you it's the overdoing it to the point where it it just comes off as almost showing off and or maybe not even showing off like just you know, farting rainbows and vomiting sunshine, to that extent. Maybe you just... Old. No, it's got nothing to do with being old. Like, I've always been like this. And I'm sure you have as well. It's, it's just your own personal taste at the end of the day.
Oh no. I want both of them, but I can't. It's a double shark. Okay, let's see if I can get this one without scaring the other. Nice. Excellent. Ooh, I almost, almost bricked it. Okay. Very odd. Money to be made with this. Oh, nice. This is why ocean fishing is just superior. In every way. Oh my god, another one. They shorted you a bag of popcorn. Bah! It's <laughs> time for a rampage. Damn. You're writing an email. Luck. Okay. What's up? I can see it. The aura that flows around you, bro. It says Saw Shark. Shh, no, but I want to. Seeks the truth. I hate this. 12,000 bells. How much is this? Okay, hang on. This might be. So shock. I think he's playing. He's paying cross price. Twelve thousand bells. Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, take it. It's my lucky day. We have a deal. Hell yeah. I don't feel guilty now. It's ten dollars for three ounces of popcorn. Shit, that's expensive. That's US dollars as well. Fuck that. <laughs> How much is that in grams? I know it's. Are you for what? It's just eighty-five grams. Oh, it's a fundraiser thing. Okay, yeah. That that explains it. Fucking hell, I hate fundraisers. They do the same with chocolate, here. Like a bunch of major companies are like, oh here, we'll do fundraising for schools. Go sell these chocolates, we'll take a cut out of it. And these chocolates are like three times what they cost in shops. So then, oh man, I just, 
this is why I'm I'm one like I like remote work for this reason because man every year someone would bring their kids fundraiser into the office and just the the like <laughs> I at least had the valid thing of like I just I don't eat sweet stuff generally. Kid gets 50% of what she sells to go to a dance costume. She was like, okay, gotcha. Still, ten ten dollars. I mean, we talked about this this whole school thing multiple times, and every time it's just like, man, they got quite the racket going on here. Like, I'm sure. Don't get me wrong. They have their costs, and it's valid, but they're definitely skimming some off the top. Five grams for ten bucks? Fucking hell. That's American, that's like thirteen Australian, roughly. I, I buy a bag of popcorn, hang on, that's like... If I go to here... Right, so it's like 6.3 ounces, that bag is like... $3 at most Australian, which is like $2.50 American. Plus shipping. <laughs> Man. Mm. Well, yeah, better, better get to it with that email. I mean, we're getting closer. We'll go broke for it. Nah. That's the thing, like, I buy the... F I wouldn't say fancy popcorn, but... You know, the middle of the road ones. I could get cheaper popcorn. But you know what would be an interesting thing? If you were to get popcorn yourself and go to door selling the popcorn but not involving the school and just charging the same and then it's like, well, now 100% of that money goes to the dance costume. Probably wouldn't be difficult to do. I mean, obviously there's costs to set that up, but... Even, even if you sold it at, like, six... It'd still be more than what the school is giving you. You just gotta cost and sell the candy like the lemonade stand. Yeah. I don't know. I, I all even as a kid, I always thought the idea of these fundraisers was dumb. Cause they used to have a I remember they used to have a representative that would come in and explain it, you know, would be like, hey kids. 
we're gonna give you these boxes, and you're gonna go around and try to sell them, and for every ch chocolate you sell, it'll earn your school this amount of money. And then, in my head, I was always like, why doesn't the school just go buy chocolates, and then do this themselves without them? Wouldn't they earn more money? Alright, I'll see to you. What, what What's up? Do you think I say Dave too much, Dave? I like saying it all, but maybe I should be mixing things up with a cooler catchphrase. Mm, no, I'm, I'm good. What are you saying, that the catchphrase is already cool enough? Yeah. Well, when you put it like that, I guess I don't need to change anything. Think about it, Dave, is kind of a classic, and classics are always cool. <laughs> Dave is kind of a classic, I, I will agree. Can't have Dave's list without Dave, exactly. No one else has a list. It is an exclusive. It's a good thing you know Dave. This will probably be like the last round of fish I do for today. I kind of want to check out the One Piece live action thing. So I have snacks. Ooh, there's a shark there. Not me. I think they need to change the fishing. Just, I don't know. I don't buy that smaller fish should be cheaper. There are certain tropical fish that are tiny and are worth a lot of money. If they could balance it out. I mean, I'm sure there are fish that are expensive that aren't gigantic, but it definitely skews heavily towards the ocean. Like, just with those two fish alone, that, that is multiple trips of river fishing. Damn, Chip must be into sharks, because I called him a sunfish earlier. And he bought that shark off me as well. Fuck! Oh! Oh, I flinched. <laughs> I'm not happy about that. That would have been an easy 12,000 bells. Like, the money for... 
for the cafe would have been a very good start. It's okay, plenty of more fish in the sea. Got the fish. Is New Leaf better than New Horizons? Uh, yes and no. Yes, in the sense that the activities are more varied and better. No, in the sense that there's some quality of life stuff they did in New Horizons. But also, just customization is a lot better in New Horizons. Just the whole... Being able to decorate your island, the interior decorating aspect of it is more powerful. You can eventually uh, shape the island how you want. But this game has a lot going for it in terms of content to do on a daily basis, for sure. And tools don't break, which is a big plus. It's like, there's stuff that I miss from New Horizons in this, but if I go play New Horizons, there's stuff that I'll miss from this. So. If you were to talk about the two games on release, this is the better game. Without question. I can see why people, when New Horizons came out, they were like, wait, that's it? I think when it comes down to it, it's probably like a personal preference thing. I lean more towards New Horizons just because I like making a nice looking island and all that decorating shit. I'm pretty good at it, so. I use my graphic design skills. But this one definitely has more stuff to do. I kind of wish I played it when it was, uh, you know, in its heyday. You're so sad you really wanted that flavor too. What flavor was it? Chai Town Chow Down. It's what, like Asian inspired? Well, what is Chai Town? Maybe I'm misinterpreting. I don't know, that just sa sounds like Chinese food. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I see it as Chinatown, but it's probably something else, like Chicago or something. Ugh, this is my favorite theme in this game. I love it. I gotta remember this. What, what time is it? Okay, 7 p.m. New Leaf. Got it. It's like the perfect mix of gloomy yet uplifting. I like music like that. It's a piquant cheese with caramel and a bold crunch. Cheese and caramel. Okay. 
I got up. Sounds interesting. I mean, sweet and cheese does does work. I tried like maple syrup with brie. It was pretty damn good. You want your ten dollar popcorn or a refund? <laughs> They'll probably refund because I don't know. Well, because I have to ship it to you. That's the problem. So it's like I don't think it'd be economical for them to just ship a single bag. But they might. Ten dollar popcorn. Fucking hell! I can't get over it. <laughs> Like, is there, go is there edible golden in that $10 bag of popcorn? Like, what's going on? I'm so sad about that shark. That would have been another 36k towards the coffee. The cafe. That was a good bug. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. I was walking as well. I don't know if Tucker scared it or I did, but... I saw it, and as soon as I realized what it was, it, it flew away. Ugh. Okay, I mean, that's alright, that's not bad. Uno mas. Tucker, you need to go home. You're scaring the rare bugs. Ocean fish supply seems to have uh, dwindled. I have cheese flavored popcorn that I'm gonna shove. I have this seasoning that's intended for fried chicken from this fried chicken place. But 
It's just spicy seasoning. So mixing it in with that popcorn. It's gonna be good shit. I had it on fries the other night and it was, it was great. Well, I mean... I'm gonna lose a little bit of money, but that's okay. What's up? I need some advice. Oh, crap. Keep it. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with brat. <laughs> it's just, look, I, I get it. It's for variety, but they just ask that way too often. It's like once a week they want to change their catchphrase. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm just, I'm not that creative to come up with a new one every week. I actually have to sell something. Um, that and then boots, then offsets the cost. Just curious, does this sell? No, right. 8,000? No. Interesting. Anyway, I'll leave. The main cheese popcorn is really good, though. Yeah. But that's the thing. It's just like, is it $10 good? <laughs> Only if the bag was bigger. Okay, well. Set all of this, thank you. I mean, yeah, eighty five grams is not a lot. Snack size here is hold on, let me convert it. It's like 1.7 ounces, which, I mean, bags, and <laughs> they're pretty cheap for those. Oh, yeah. Even at a gas station, like, gas station stuff is expensive, but it would not be like that. Oh, man. It's a sizable amount. Okay. I think that's a nice and decent session of this for today. I made a dent in the, uh, the mus- the- I was gonna say museum coffee shop, but it's just a coffee shop. I made a dent in the coffee shop funds, but also... I paid off my mortgage, so that's the good part. Alright, well, that'll uh, do it for tonight, I think, chat. I'm gonna go chill for the rest of the evening. I'm gonna check out the live-action One Piece thing. So, that's my plans. But, uh, if you've reached the end here on YouTube, if you're watching later, uh, thanks for sticking around. And if you uh, want to support the channel in any way, clicking buttons helps a lot. And it makes YouTube happy from what I hear.
an algorithm. Uh, and I'm sure by now it's probably popping up to other of my videos if you want to watch me play something else. So, yeah. Hope you do. Till next time. I'll see you later, YouTube.